अनुपम नमस्कार मार फिफ्टी टू इन शिक्षार आज अनुषान लगे स्वागत जानी जो फिफ्टी टू मिनिट शिक्षार जरिए आम विभिन्न विषय शिक्षक माति आनो निजस्व विषय टपिकर ऊपर प्रक्रिया दिए तार पास आलोचना है गति के आज आम मजदूर खुबे सौभाग्यवान जो आम प्रफेसर मानवेन्द्र शर्मा तक आई आई टी गुवाहाटी रसायन विभाग अध्यापक शिक्षा ग्रहण कर गोलपरा कलेज गुवाहाटी मास्टर डिग्री केमेस्ट्री कर पास आई टी बम्बे पी एच डी कर जार्मानी हाइडलबार्ग पोस्ट डक्टरेट स्टाडी बर्तमान आई आई टी गुवाहाटी प्रफेसर रूप कर्मरत गति के मैं मानवेन्द्र धन्यवाद दांगीर तार प्रश्न मोर धन्यवाद अनुपम दा प्रथम मैं आरम्भ कर आगते मोर स्लैडी मैं शेयर ठीक है ठीक है सो सो थैंक यू सो माच पन प्रथम फिफ्टी पंद्रह फिफ्टीन मिनिट शिक्षार समूह कर्मकर्त मोर फल बहुत धन्यवाद आज डिस्काशन निमंत्रण दियारे अनुपम दाक मैं पार्सनेलि जानो और तार मजते प्रसेनजित कल्याण आम मोर सहकर्मी पुत्र आम आई आई टी गुवाहाटी सो मैं बेसि देरी नक मैं आशा करूँ आज अनुषान जी जिस उपस्थित मोर डिस्काशन पीछे जी क्या सकते सो मैं आज टपिक तो हम थियरटिकल केमिस्ट्री पास प्रेजेन्ट एंड फ्यूचार मैं आई आई टी गुवाहाटी डिपार्टमेंट अफ केमिस्ट्री फेकल्टी हिसाब से कम कर मैं पुन प्रथम एक फिफ्टीन मिनिट शिक्षार कोर मेम्बर जी जी मैं गम पाई प्रसेनजितर सकते प्रफेसर हिरण्य कुमार नाथ डांगरिया आदि कर प्रफेसर रिपाट मान्नान अनुपम शैकिया और बकी जी जी सकते मोर फल माइ सिनसियर थैंक्स एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड फर गिविंग मी दिस अपरचुनिटी टू प्रेजेन्ट द टपिक देट आई हेव बीन वर्किंग हेविंग सीन्स आई थिंक लास्ट टूवेंटी इयर्स फ्रम माइ पी एच डि दिस इज द आई आई टी गुवाहाटी कैम्पास उल नो दैट इज भेरी beautiful campus of iit guwahati and it is situated in the north bank of river pramaputra many of you may not know that's why i am showing this one and this is my current research group and actually i am the non playing members others members are very actively participating so they are work very hard to get into some of the things that we are getting off late okay so let's come to the topic so i begin with a subject or the topic or the question is called what is science so uh what we can uh, do is that we can look look into the science or the definition of science in two ways one can be that science as a subject that is taught in schools and colleges as a set of facts will establish through observations and experiments another way is that science as what scientists do so normally there are some characteristic questions we when we talk about science 
these are some of the characteristic questions like what, why, how, and when. So these are these type of questions are normally we ask when you talk about science. Now, coming from science to technology, which is also very important. So if I make a distinction or make a demarcation between science and technology, we say science is a pure because it does not necessarily have an applications. On the other hand, technology, it is an applied or appli scientific applications of science. It has practical applications and engineering may be an example of that. So if I give a very basic, simple examples. So if I talk about aspirin, like which we know we usually consume when we have fever. So if it has been uh, uh, kind of prepared in the laboratory that is called science. On the other hand, the technology is actually, if I talk about if we produce aspirin tablets in large scale, then it is called technology. So if I again go some more detail into how science is different from the technology, we can say that in case of science, it is, these are the experimental investigation and exploration of natural phenomena. It pursues knowledge for its own sake and doesn't cause change in itself. On the other hand, technology can be a practical application of scientific knowledge and it leads to change. Sometimes it's for better or sometimes it may cause worse. So if I give an example, so if I talk about examples of science, that question is that we can ask like, what causes the flu? Best example is that recently we have, most recently we have uh, uh, got this pandemic called COVID-19. So we all are actually trying to get rid of, uh, know the reason why it is the reason behind COVID-19. Similarly, how are the atoms put together? How is the information stored and transmitted? On the other hand, if I talk about the technology, we say flu vaccine, like search for COVID-19 vaccine in case in our present example, we can take the atomic bomb, genetic engineering, these are the examples of technology. So from science and technology, let us move into a scientific matter because scientific, uh, what actually the scientific matter means. So here there are some steps involved. What is that? First step we normally call make observations. If I take an example, uh, like I am sick with a stomachache. Second thing is a step two can be develop a hypothesis. So from the step one and two, step two, if I can say, uh, if I take the same example and I can say that I am sick due to the spoiled food I ate for lunch. Step three is that if the continuation from one and two, I can say that test the hypothesis through experiments. So what will be the example that we have been discussing? It can be, I'll ask my friends, ask others who ate the same food like me for lunch, and whether they have got also sick. Step four, it will be develop a law. So law, what is the law? Actually law is the sum, it summarizes the outcome of several experiments that occur repeatedly and consistently. So in our example, we can say, the spoiled food that serve at lunch makes people sick with a stomachache. So from this four step, we can make it or develop a theory. What is the theory? We said theory will be, it is the explanation for a, why a law exists. So in our case, we can say that finally, that it is the bacteria in the spoiled food that makes people ill. So we got something called theory. So let's try to go beyond theories or what is actually these theories means. Like when I talk about theories, theories are actually, they are never completely certain. There may change as more experiments are performed. A model is a physical picture of mathematical expression of a theory, like model of the atom. I'll show you in a short while about this, how it is being developed. This is a very simple example of model of the atoms. The important thing when you talk about scientific method that it should be free of bias. 
Pardon, when we say uh, in scientific method, we need to have something called control ex experiment. So because it normally tests the hypothesis that we normally give beforehand. So there are two possible answers of hypothesis. It can be either right or wrong. So finally, we gather the data and observation by doing the experiment and we modify the hypothesis. And this process is repeated until we get a uh, converse result. So what is the outcome in the long term? So theory, which we also can be called as a model, we say that a set of well-tested hypotheses that give an explain, overall explanation of some natural phenomena, not able to, but it cannot be able to prove. On the other hand, when we talk about scientific law or a natural law, the same observation applies to many different systems, which summarizes the result. For example, the law of conservation of mass. So this is the overall summary that how one can go from observations to make creating a hypothesis, then going to experiment, making a law, as well as theories also in between. So this is what we normally see uh, in scientific methods. So as I say that if I talk about the structure of a atom or structure of a uh, model structure, so it all started, we all studied, especially in class seven or eight, I remember that uh, it started with John Dalton in 1803. And since there are some problem, I would say inadequacy, then later it was refined by J.J. Thompson in 1904, followed by 1911 by Ernest Rutherford, 1913 by Neil Bohr, and finally in 1926, it was given by Erwin Schrodinger on quantum model, which is supposed to be the uh, correct one among all these models. So you can see there is a refinement of the model. So when we talk about the theories around the year. So 1803 to 1926, that is almost 120 years, more than 120 years required to get the correct uh, structure of the atom. Anyway, there is another way also uh, to look into the science. Like, if, so if I ask someone, they normally say, what is science? They say it can be physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics. It can be also say geology, astrophysics, industrial toxicology, ecology, biotechnology, nanomaterials, serotonin receptors. So these are empirically or experimentally verified objective facts about natural phenomena. Okay. However, there are other dimensions of science are also there, like history, philosophy, and methodology, politics, economics sociology, management, education, and communication. So there are many ways to look into the science. However, in today's discussion, I'll be mostly focusing on chemistry since my, I'm a, by profession, I'm a chemist. So I'll be mainly talking about the chemistry point of view. So we all know, so many of you already know that there are uh, five major areas of chemistry. So it started with organic chemistry, which deals with essentially all substances containing carbon. And in the previous 15 minute uh, uh, discussion, uh, Professor Vinay Soikya from NIS, he already talked about that. Uh, then comes in organic chemistry, which primarily deals with the uh, substances with, uh, without carbon. Then physical chemistry, describe behavior of chemicals involve a lot of mathematics. Biochemistry, chemistry of living things, analytical chemistry concerned about compositions of substances. So although there are they have there are major these are sub areas of chemistry, but normally boundaries are not found. They do overlap and interact. So these are some examples of organic chemistry, like uh, food chemistry, fossil fuels, similarly inorganic chemistry, materials, materials chemistry chemical reactions, it involves all elements. Then physical chemistry, it involves matter and energy, heating and freezing of materials, exothermic, endogenic, nuclear chemistry. And biochemistry, as I said previously, it is a living chemistry environmental. It deals with proteins, amino acids, DNA, food, medical research, and many more. Analytical is normally deals with the identifies, evaluates, compares the data that we normally get, uses instrument to find answers, basis of 
chemical research. So all are important. So if I summarize the, all these traditional areas in chemi uh, chemistry in this case of athlete. So if when I talk about physical chemistry, we can say the physical chemistry might study factors that affect breeding rates during exercise. On the other hand, Inorganic chemists and inorganic chemists might explain how a lack of calcium affect the growth and repair of bones. On the other hand, organic chemists, or at least scans involved, they say that at least inhaled chemicals developed by organic chemists to control the symptoms of asthma. Analytical chemists will develop tests to detect chemicals in the blood, the test to help to show organs in body are working properly or not. And finally, biochemists might study how the energy used for contraction muscles is produced and stored. So all in a nutshell, we can say using the chemistry. However, there are one more branch, which is off late, it's uh, started, and which is now it is very much developed. It is called theoretical chemistry. And this is also called prediction chemistry. It uses mathematics and models, and also chemistry foundations. So let's discuss the theoretical chemistry in detail. So if I take a definition from this nature uh, journal, which is one of the top most journal in the world, I think many of you know, many of you may not know. So theoretical chemistry seeks to provide theories and explanations for chemical observation, while it's also posing questions to be answered by future experiments. So it plays a key role in physical chemistry, uses laws of physics to predict molecular structure, dynamics, bonding, reactivity, physical properties, spectroscopic response, and many more. So uh, we all know that Van Hoff, so he has he has tremendous contributions in chemistry, and he is the first Nobel Prize winner in chemistry in 1901, and he was one of the brilliant theoretical chemists. Uh, so far known. So these are some branches of theoretical chemistry that there are some more, but due to the uh, space issues, I have not shown every many things. So one can say quantum chemistry, computational chemistry, molecular modeling, molecular dynamics, molecular mechanics, mathematical chemistry, theoretical chemical kinetics, chem informatics, bioinformatics, drug design, and many more. So I'll now move one from theoretical chemistry, more specialized one, it is called computational chemistry. And my next part of the talk, mostly based on the, this computational chemistry. So again, if I take the definition, because now it is very difficult to find out a proper definition if you look into the internet. So I took a, some uh, source where I can get some definition where I can show you. So in again, the nature paper journal, they considered that computational chemistry described the computer modeling and simulation. It included a initial approaches based on quantum chemistry and empirical approaches to study the structure and properties of molecules and materials. I'll tell you this initial approaches, empirical approaches, since it is not a uh, proper science talk, so I will not be discussing uh, the uh, science part in detail, but if Anybody has question, please feel free to ask me. So computational chemistry is also used to describe the computational techniques aimed at understanding the structure and properties of molecules and materials. So if you look into the, the picture above, so here we all know that these are some toxic gases can be absorbed in some metals, in some uh, material surfaces. And we can see that that can be un understood or that can be studied using this computational chemistry, okay? So uh, I hope uh, this may be familiar to many of you. There are two main types of methods when we talk about theory. One can be classical mechanics method, which also called Newtonian method that we studied, as well as there is something called quantum chemistry method. So in quantum chemistry method, it is a different type of method and it uses another something like that similar equation called Schrodinger equations. So if I talk about the, uh, about this theoretical hierarchy about computational chemistry, it can be divided to two branches. One is called atomistic, 
what is called continuum. And if I more focus on atomistic one, so it can be have finite and periodic, and this can be further subdivided to quantum mechanical method and classical mechanical method. And quantum mechanical method further can be subdivided to semi-empirical and ab initio, which have like quantum Monte Carlo, DFT, Hartipop, QMM methods are there. On the other hand, classical mechanical methods, they are called deterministic or stochastic. So it can have again QMM or molecular dynamics and Monte Carlo. So this is very important aspect when one or do uh, theoretical chemistry. So if you talk about the system complexity and the theoretical rigor, they are actually opposite. That means if the system size is very large, then you have to uh, kind of, you have to actually uh, use the method in such a way that it can be possible to do in computer. That means you have to balance this one. That means you cannot have both high theoretical method and large system together because that may not be possible in the current scenario. So if I give a uh, example of that, so I can say that quantum mechanics maybe it can be very good in when we are dealing with the, like small systems like that. If we go from quantum mechanics to molecular mechanics, we can increase the number of atoms or molecules. Like from there, we can go to like this kind of uh, system, higher, bigger system. We can treat QMM, that is quantum mechanics and molecular mechanics method. Finally, if you go more large systems, like in this case, rabbit, we can have semi-empirical method. Okay, so in the, in the scale, we, we all know that if we want to discuss something in atomic scale, that means quantum mechanical method may be useful. But if you want to go to go go to higher scale, I mean to say like 10 to the power minus 8 meter, then statistical mechanics may be suitable. If you go beyond like 10 to the power minus 6 micron level, continuum methods mechanics may be possible. On the other hand, if you go from uh, continuum to classical mechanics, mechanics, which normally happens in millimeter or sub millimeter level, then you can actually discuss this kind of uh, thing. So these are important. Now, uh, some may ask that what is the difference between a theoretical chemist or a computational chemist? So if I talk about theory or theoretical chemist, normally develops uh, new computational methods and algorithm that we can see in the lower part of the picture that uh, written in theory that is normally follow something, this kind of theory. On the other hand, computational chemists use existing computer software to study problems of from chemistry or other branches as well. So this is the right hand side picture is the from the computations. Okay, so of course, to do this thing, one needs to have uh, these tools. In our case, the tools may be modern computer and supercomputers like here, there are two supercomputers shown in this slide. One is uh, Paramission, as well as recently last year, it was uh, Commission, that is Param Kamrupa, which is are running successfully. So, however, in addition to that, one needs to have the applications of our knowledge of mathematics, physics, computer science to solve chemical problems. Okay, so now, that what are the things we can study using uh, this computational chemistry? So we can go from studies of molecules to large molecules, macromolecules like proteins, DNA, polymers, material size, and many more. Now, before we do calculation, we normally ask ourselves three questions. Like first question is why, then the second question is what, and third question is how. So question is that, why type of question is that? First question, why do we need to do theoretical calculation? Second thing is, what do we calculate? And how the calculations are carried out? In today's talk, I may not be discussed uh, what type of question because uh, since, as I say, mentioned, this is a uh, general lecture, so I'll avoid doing that. But if somebody asks, I'll be happy to answer that question. So why is, because the, what is the evolutions of computational chemistry? Normally, we would use this to confirm some experimental data or some in some experimental data, there are, uh, because of the lack of interpretations, we cannot 
go further. So it can help computational chemistry help to interpret that result, or it can predict some new results. However, the truth is experimental. So what are the advantages? Advantage is that it avoids experimental difficulties, safety, cost perspective also. It's very, very important when you talk about the drug designing and so drug discovery and visualization. We can see actually what is actually we can see through experience through competition. So uh, then what type of calculation, as I say, what kind of calculation you do? So these are some kind of calculation, which I am not going to in detail, as I say. Then how? The question is how the uh, uh, computational chemistry or how computer programs work. So if I talk about computational chemistry, uh, one can have computer software one can use. It can have some software are low price, some software are low high price, but it depends on low and high, depends on the, what kind of accuracy you want in your result. Similarly, user interface also uh, required, like you can have input and output, like some many uh, recent software or programs are very user friendly. They are menu driven and point and click. Like, so as I said, the how, so as I already said, it can have, if one can choose the molecular mechanics method, which is based on classical mechanics, no electrons or wave functions. It can be inexpensive. It, it can apply to very large systems like proteins. And the other end, if one to someone is to use quantum mechanical method, it seek approximate solutions of the Schrodinger equation like this. And it can deal with smaller systems like atoms or maybe not very big systems. So both has advantages as well as disadvantages. Okay, I'll mainly focus on some of the part, like if I talk about molecular mechanics, it based on the use of experimental information. On the other hand, for a quantum mechanical method, and not based on use of experimental information. Similarly, uh, molecular mechanics methods are normally less costlier, like in terms of time, as well as in terms of memory. On the other hand, quantum mechanical methods are costlier than molecular method in terms of memory, in terms of time, computational time. Of course, there are some uh, molecular mechanics case we can discuss about the equilibrium structure conformation analysis, whereas in case of quantum mechanics method, it can be non-equilibrium structure like transition state, charge distributions and all. Okay, so these are the some typical uh, methods we normally use in uh, computational chemistry. So if we want to deal with, I'll go come from the bottom actually. If I want to have a uh, 20 atoms, then I may use ab initio correlated methods. If I go from 20 to 50 between that, maybe artifact method may be doable. Then if I go from uh, 50 to 100 or between 100 to 200, then density functional theory method will be very, very useful, very popular nowadays, then from more than or less than 200 uh, to maybe higher, a little bit higher than, then it will be semi-empirical and greater than 1000 maybe, we one can use molecular mechanics method. So this is the uh, way can, one can choose when you uh, do these calculations. So these are typical, uh, some of the software that is, uh, it is available nowadays. So, uh, like Gaussian is one of the most popular software. Then there are some other software. In this case, some softwares are uh, licensed ones. Some softwares are uh, free of licenses one can use. So Orca is free of licenses on the other hand. Gaussian is the one. Uh, you have to, it is a licensed one. Like Camdro is a licensed one. So Autodoc can be used freely also. So it depends in, on the, your budget and depending on your uh, resources, you can choose. And there are many more, which I'm not showing here. As I said, there are advantages and disadvantages when you do discuss something, there are some advantages and disadvantages of the calculations. Like once you do computations or calculation, we can check the transition state, which may be very difficult through an experiments. Similarly, calculations depends on how you design. It can have less costly. On the other hand, experiments may 
cost more. Similarly, calculations are normally safe. Experiments, some experiments are, you need to be careful when doing the experiments. Similarly, calculations are easy to perform. Experiment sometimes more difficult to perform. Okay, so like advantages, one have disadvantages also, like the cost of calculation increases, as I said, that once you have a larger and larger system, it may not be possible to use uh, the very accurate method because of the constraint. On the other hand, the cost of experiments is generally independent of the molecular size. Sometimes calculations yield different results, okay? But experiment will provide usually more confirmative results. Okay, so from now onwards, I'd like to discuss some of the examples that I that in some in our lab also, in our uh, normally also we can uh, use it. So I begin with the simple examples like I want to find out some properties of the system and using some of the uh, observables like. I want to find out the molecular properties through quantum mechanical method, like basicity of a system. How can we find it out? So one example is that this is a system called four amino pyridine, and there are two nitrogen, as you can see. One is blue color and one is uh, red color. So this is a red color is we call ring nitrogen because it is there in the uh, this ring and and is the blue color on the outside. So we want to see that which one is actually the more basic. So if I take the energy between A, so I pass protonet because when you go for basicity, you need to try to see that which uh, can easily protonet. So I, uh, if I talk about the outside nitrogen, I draw the structure as A and ring nitrogen, I draw the structure as B. So if we calculate the energy, the energy of the B, is less than the A. So we can say that ring nitrogen is more basic. And that is what experiment also says. There is also some qualitative investigation. This is called electrostatic potential map. And we can see that here, this color has some meaning. So what is that the color near red represent more negative charge and color near blue represent more positive charge. So if you look into this structure, the N, the ring nitrogen has more negative charge. So proton will be more easily go there. On the other hand, the outside nitrogen has very, very minimal uh, red uh, color. So it may not go as like your ring nitrogens. Similarly, we can also find out the acidity of uh, alcohol. If you want to find out it between ethanol and uh, two, 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 trifluoroethanol. Similarly, between phenol and nitrophenol which one is stronger, which one is weaker. Those kind of also things can be studied using electrostatic map, which will give a very qualitative idea about the systems. Okay, like from there, we can go to like, find out the reaction mechanism. For example, if I consider this reaction, formaldehyde giving carbon dioxide and hydrogen. So this is the transition state. And if I see the reaction part, so at the end of the reaction, the, there are two products forming. One is carbon monoxide, one is hydrogen. So this is the reaction part. Those can be also studied. These are very simple examples and uh, one can have more. So let's try to find out some, I'll be discussing two or three uh, definitive examples, which may be helpful for many of you, especially the students who are uh, going to work on computational chemistry or who are student of computational chemistry. Expert, please uh, bear with me. So first I'll talk about this computational chemistry and uh, environment, okay? So we all know, just look at these uh, videos. And this has been very popular recently. There are global environmental problems are there. Let me let the videos over. All right, so we all know that there are global environmental problems are there and that can be seen through these very informative videos. And uh, those who are in Assam here, they know that uh, till 
uh, Thursday, we are having a kind of heat wave, and this is something unusual from I think last 10 years or 15 years. So we have real issues like, and why this problem comes? Mainly because of the deforestations, waste, water pollutions, contaminations, air pollutions, greenhouse gas emissions, and many more. If I look in, so mainly this air pollutions and greenhouse gases will mainly focus on. So if you look into the, the our day-to-day -day life, like we are, since we are, it is very hot nowadays. So either we sit inside the room with air conditioner or go, it's feeling like going to the seat inside the refrigerator with a cold water bottle. But this has a lot of side effects. So whether it is a refrigerator or air, air condition, conditioner, they normally release some substances they may, that may cause ozone depletions. So these are something called CFCs, HFCs, halons, that is called halogenated alkenes. And these are actually harmful greenhouse gases and it contributes to the global warming and which actually the one of the reason for ozone depletions. So although there are initiative taken uh, uh, by the competent authority, like it was in 1987, it started with Montreal Protocol to reduce the uses of ozone depleting uh, substances like CFCs, HFCs, halons, followed by 1990, actually 2005, this Kyoto Protocol came. So followed by, there are ways to see how these things are working to study the mechanistic pathways and as well as the study of atmospheric implications. So if you look into that, you have sun, uh, they, sunlight and uh, oxygen, they basically form ozone and that ozone, ozone actually, they actually shield us to getting the ultraviolet radiations from the sun. So it is ozone, uh, it is intacting or keeping intake of the ozone layer is very, very important. So normally these CFCs react with ozone or maybe other atmospheric oxidants to form harmful greenhouse gases. Like in this uh, picture, the below picture, one can see that how it can be like CFC molecule, molecule, if it interact with ozone molecule, there is a possibility that this molecule ozone may break up and there are some other products forms. So this is how this ozone layer may deplete. Now, computationally, how one can do that? Uh, it is possible how, like if we, choose something like, for example, CFCs and some oxidants, like normally oxidants can be some radical. And with the help of that, if we can propose a mechanism and to uh, see the mechanism, whether the reaction is feasible from that harmonics point of view, kinetic analysis, toxicity analysis, then if we compare the data with the experimental data, then we can, one can give an idea that what may be the reason behind this depletion also, of course, in addition to that, atmospheric application study, followed by how the effect in the environment takes place that can be also possible through this computational approach. Like here, recently we have worked on uh, this CFPs. So this is a compound and this CFPs react with OH radical. It can have possibly the both addition and subtraction reactions. And in our studies, it says that addition reactions is more uh, dominating and uh, abstraction reactions. And it is actually uh, uh, corroborating the experimental data. Then another topic, which is also of foremost importance is the material science. That So how computational chemistry can be useful to study the material science. So we know that material science is a very uh, interdisciplinary areas and it involves properties of matter and from if we talk, talk about our daily life from morning to evening, so we are all dealing with materials. Some of the examples are shown here. So it has various applications or various applications in science and engineering. So material science also deals with the fundamental properties and characteristics of the materials. Like, but there is also uh, possibilities that there are normally 
3 d materials are available the uh, material that we see normally there are three dimensional materials but uh, has anyone heard about something called zero dimensional nil dimensional materials yes there are other low dimensional materials are also there like zero dimensional one dimensional and two dimensionals like zero dimensional can be spheres cluster dots where size or diameter are less than 10 or 10 nanometer if you go to a zero dimensional to one dimensional the diameter is between 10 to 100 nanometer like wires rods tubes if you go from 1d to 2d like thickness can be less than 100 nanometer like sheets platelets films so there are many more that we are can do okay so we are these two gentlemen actually this andre graham and constantin novoselov so they got nobel prize in physics in 2010 to for their pioneering work on graphene graphene and graphene is very remarkable material so if you look into is that very strong it is 100 times stronger than steel it is very rigid and it is a actually is crystalline allotrope of carbon so it has a lot of applications okay so these are some of the applications of these uh, materials one can have lithium ion batteries like device applications one can use conversion of carbon dioxide to methanol just like we have recently talked about it's very important if we someone can convert carbon one of carbon dioxide to methanol that will be very good because that can be used as a fuel. Photocatalytic water splitting is also very much demanding areas nowadays where uh, these materials can be used uh, or materials can be designed to uh, split water because it has two advantages. This uh, from water splitting, the hydrogen that is evolved that is being can be used as a fuel. Also, it can also has applications like sensor applications like uh, one example I said at the beginning, like gas sensors, humidity sensor, food sensors, so many more. Like nowadays, the machine learning approach are also useful to design the materials, but uh, one needs to check when you design something, the stability and electronic properties are very, very important. So normally we divide two categories. One is called uh, reactions on the material surface and that is called device applications. So both cases, specific analysis should be done. Okay, so like, as I say, this machine learning approach may be useful to while designing this one. So it's very much important how uh, one can use. So I'll be discussing machine learning in slightly later times. So this is another from our group that we have recently worked on uh, selective detection of sulfur sulfur dioxide on a heteroatom doped graphene sheet and as you can see that it is very uh, uh, selectively uh, absorbed than the other atmospheric gases although also we have used electric field to find out or see the effect that whether adsorptions are decreases or increases uh, through this our computational studies then another very very important and very very pertinent research area in nowadays is the computational biochemistry. So as you can say, that's computational biology or computational biology and biochemistry can be divided many branches like protein structure prediction, drug discovery and design, uh, enzyme catalysis, ligand protein interactions, protein folding and misfolding, bioinformatics and genomics and many more. So this has a lot of implications like if I talk about the diseases that human beings like, we these are some kind of very fatal diseases like cancers, HIV, SARS-CoV-2, Alzheimer, brain tumor, fever. So all these things are very, very important. And for many cases, there are not, uh, uh, what do I say, uh, sufficient or uh, more pertinent drugs are available. So this is very, very important. Uh, in our life. So how this can be treated? Like these are some of the experimental and theoretical techniques like uh, if uh, like magnetic resonance imaging where uh, gadolinium based agents uh, molecules or compounds can be used as a uh, uh, this as a this thing to uh, map that way, whether that brain has some problem or not that can be used that 
contrast agent. Similarly, protein ligand docking, where we can find out whether that for a particular protein that ligand or that drug is uh, suitable or not. Similarly, the amyloid beta inhibition I was talking or I was showing that about that Alzheimer's disease. So there is a amyloid beta aggregations in the human brain. If one can get rid of that aggregation, then it can be avoided. Similarly, fluorescence imaging, like there are some technique, green fluorescent technique is one of them to find out that if there is some in your body, if something is damaged or something is mutated or not, that can be checked. Okay, so this is one that uh, compound like protein and inhibitors. So if you, through computer, so through computational chemistry, one can use like protein and inhibitors. And if we can see protein inhibitor complex after docking through various ways like molecular modeling, virtual screening, user techniques, machine learning, molecular dynamic simulation. So one can find out that whether the particular inhibitor is suitable for that the protein that is looking for in the body. Of course, this is also very important nowadays, the drug discovery through machine learning. So machine learning techniques are normally useful uh, drug, uh, in drug discovery as well as like getting uh, get new drugs and so. I'll come back. So this is again uh, our recent work on uh, computational design and evolution of transition metal-based complexes for cancer treatment. As you can see that we have used palladium-based complex and try to find out whether this complex have uh, a pertinent or a, uh, kind of a sufficient effect on the cancer treatment. So we have theoretically developed this one, but onus is on experiment and the studies whether it can be doable on experimentally or not. There are another one since we are talking about the mutations, cancer treatment also. So this is another very recent uh, area where it can be seen that the low energy electron induced electron also can induce DNA damage. So if I consider a double-stranded DNA like this, and if some low energy electron interact with some of the uh, some part of the DNA, so one can have uh, many possibilities. One of the possibilities that that where your strand back is possible in this case, you can see that the strand back is done. And another possibility is that one can have your nucleobase release where the base is released. So this kind of things also can be studied uh, computationally, like how mutation can be in the DNA nucleotides can be, can be controlled through proper uh, modeling of the uh, system and which may be useful for the experimentalist. Like here, so the nucleotide that I was showing in the previous uh, two slides, showing that that if I consider the uh, strand break and the, uh, uh, your uh, nucleoside uh, nucleobase release, one can see that which one is more predominant. So in our case, in more, most cases, mostly it is the uh, strand break which is more predominant. So that can be actually controlled or to, or modeled properly so that those damage can be uh, stopped or can be reduced. So finally, so I'll be talk, coming to this computational drug discovery. As I said, it is a very tedious and uh, difficult do to do, the, do this thing. So once, first it involves or it has, it requires a lot of steps like here. So if this is a drug discovery pipeline, one can say that from the target identification to the validations, it required to the clinical trial, it takes a lot of, lot of time normally not before 10 years. And there are a lot of uh, amount or is required or is involved. Like this is the report I was getting in some places that you need almost million to billion dollars to have a new drug. And to sustain growth, each of top 20 pharma companies should produce more new drugs. So currently, so only 32 new drugs are coming. And you know, after it is coming, you need clinical trials, and you know, so it is very problematic thing. So we all know about that uh, during the time of COVID, that how it all started. But still, unfortunately, we do not have any medicines too far. To the best of my knowledge, I do I do not think that there are medicines on or drugs on COVID nineteen. We have vaccines. There are some efficacies are also there, but uh, 
Uh, there are some other issues like there are some medicines and this is taken from the WHO side and uh, all the details are written. This is they updated uh, till 12 January 2022. Now, the final topic of my today's discussion is the artificial intelligence and machine learning. So how this computational chemistry or theoretical chemistry going to the future? So again, this is a very important topic and I'm not the expert of that. And there are, I think some person already talked about this one, but I'll give you a highlight. So we know that Professor John McCarthy and he developed or he is the, given the concept of artificial intelligence way back in 1955. He worked in Stanford University and his things are now is being developed. So uh, if, uh, if somebody asks what is artificial intelligence, so it is actually the science creating machines that can carry out tasks or solve problems that are too complex for the human brain to handle on its own is known as artificial intelligence or AI. AI is your smartphone, a computer solving complex problems, a robot doing human work. On the other hand, these things are a little bit confusing. That's why I have put the machine learning also. So what is machine learning? So it is one of the most advanced, advanced scientific fields and they have better for developing artificial intelligence. It is the computational study of algorithm based on automated learning approaches that underlie learning in both humans and machines. So if I say simple word, machine learning gives machines the ability to think and learn in more human ways without being explicitly programmed. Best example is that Alexa, right? We normally use, many of us uses Alexa Alexa, do this thing, go do that thing from Google also. We normally do that. Like, so this is another one. So if I, along with artificial intelligence and machine learning, there is something called deep learning is also there. So that can be checked. That when you go from artificial intelligence, where normally uh, it, in artificial intelligence, it mimic the cognitive functions. From there, in machine learning, it's all about some finding some pattern instructions deep learning is more uh, more complex and it based on some complex neural ne networks so those who are interested they may go through this link this is a very good link to study so one thing is that if i give an examples that like image identification can be done through ai and ml so in this case if we have a uh, photos like cat and dog and we want to find out that at the end of the, our observation, the, what is the output? Like in this case, we got that this photo is coming. If it is coming from the top, so it is going to give you your cat. If it is coming from bottom, then it should give you the dog. That should be the right way of identification through, uh, image identif identification through AI and ML. On the other hand, if further, if someone wants to know that what is the breed of the dog, that can further divide it and that can be also studied using machine learning. So it has a lot of examples. Like this is the process where this image identification techniques are actually used. Like we could collect images, the image sampling, then we we'll do the dimensionality reduction. Then with some uh, processing, we classify and finally we identify. As I say that it has a lot of importance in now chemistry, as I say that the, I was telling in some slides back that there are some uh, cases, one needs to have a lot of, uh, devote a lot of time to study or use computational chemistry. Like if you want to solve like equation, like Schrodinger equation for a large system, that may take a lot of time, like it may go in snail pace, but with the help of machine learning, or if you combine, both that it may give you more faster or better result as well as accurate results. Like we can also use statistical modeling and analysis that can be very important in chemistry. Like we, we can use from here, like we can use the annotated data productions, like sensor screening synthesis simulation that can be also used from here. And from with the machine learning approach, we can get newer data and do the classification and regressions. Like here, I was talking about that metals or materials, like uh, conversion of or 
CO2 reduction process is very, very important. So machine learning can be helped to design some catalyst, catalyst which can help to uh, reduce the carbon dioxide because we know, all know that carbon dioxide reduction is very, very important process and very, very useful. It will be very, very useful. So then uh, if one can have this artificial intelligence in drug designing, specifically if I talked about the anti-cancer drug designing, so it is very, very useful. So, so there are many ways, actually, you can see that this future is bright, as I say, but with a proper or with a guided use of artificial intelligence, so one can have a very good or very tremendous effect on these uh, difficult areas like drug design or so. So finally, uh, uh, I'd like to wind up by thanking or by my gratitude to my teachers and mentors, my Professor Manoj Mishra, who is my PhD supervisor, uh, Professor Satrajit Adhikari and Nikhil Gushe, from whom I learned the theory part, Professor Lawrence Satterbaum, who was my uh, postdoc supervisor at uh, University of Heidelberg, as well as I was blessed to get uh, support from Professor Horst Koppel and Professor Hans Dieter Meyer, and there are many more, which I cannot put it here. And also, I would like to thank all my lab members of uh, my research group, especially all the PhD students, Ranjit and Somnath, who initially started the lab at IIT Guwahati. And then uh, Ranjit is now doing a job in India, and Somnath actually, he could not do PhD, but later on he went outside and uh, did PhD. And from Kishan to Anand, these are my current PhD student. And I'm very uh, lucky to get these students because of that uh, we are doing some good stuff at IIT Guwahati. So thank you for that. Of course, IIT Guwahati for giving the opportunity to work the independently. Finally, I'd like to dedicate this talk to all my teachers because of that, whom or because of them I'm in this position today. Uh, stay safe and thanks for your patience. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Manavendra. Thank you. Ah, Anupamko. Yeah. Thank you so much for your. Screen share the Yeah, I, I think I can stop the screen share, right? Oh, please, Karen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe I'll convey the questions to you. Yeah, so sure. One of the questions uh, was like, uh, I mean, let me the name also, Ananta Gogoi from JZ College. So this question is, have scientists taken any measure to develop most effective methods of green hydrogen extraction. Correct, correct. It is, as I say, that I already told that uh, there is something called photocatalytic water splitting, and that is uh, very, very important in current scenarios because we need green hydrogen fuel because the, the fuel that we are getting right now, the petrol or diesel, I think it has some lifetime. So there are a lot of groups, not only in India, outside also. And this is a very promising area. Even we are also working on that, that photocatalytic water splitting. And hopefully, we'll also get some result and we can show in near future. There are actually, there are many ways actually to do. There are some people are working through uh, catalytic reduction. Some people are doing through material design. So yes, it is going on. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yonada, and Yonada, add for before the uh, next question, please. Yonada, please add for your, He would like to say something. Uh, 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 Dr. Horma and also Nupom. Asalote, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, Kokona to hold Amar Porobotio Nustantu, Onustito Hobo, 
ए माहर जून माहर पोसिस तारीखे आरो जूनर पोसिस तारीखे आमार मजत उपस्थित थाकिबो एबार केन्द्रीय लोकहेवा आयोगर परीक्षात हुइखातिरे उत्तीर्ण हुआ अहोमर दुगराकी रेखार्थी और दुगराकी व्यक्ति तेन लोक होइसे डाक्टर मयूर हाजरिका आरो निवेदिता दास मय आखा करिसु आमी 15 मिनिट हिखार तरफ पर आखा करिसु जते अमर छात्र छात्री हकल ए अनुष्ठान तो उपस्थित थाके आरो मयूर आरो निवेदितार होयते तेन लोके पुनपोटिया कय वार्तालाप वार्तालाप करिबोले सुविधा मयूर हाजरिकार निवेदिता दसे विभिन्न संवाद माध्यमत तेन लोकर साक्षात्कार दिसे तेन लोकर बिषय जनायसे किंतु आमार ए अनुष्ठानत छात्र छात्री हकले पुनपोटिया कय तेन लोकर होयते जुगाजुग करार बा प्रश्न उद्धार सुविधा पाबो म आखार खिसु तेन लोके ए सुविधा तु ग्रहण करिबो अतके हुखर कथा जे मयूर अहोमत थाकी अहोमते प्रस्तुति चलाय तेन भारतवर्षर भितरते पंचम स्थान पाबोले सक्षम होइसे यार आगते अहोमर कुनु छात्रय बा कुनु परीक्षार्थिए इमान उपरर स्थान अधिकार करिबोले सक्षम हुआ नासिल गतिके मय आखा राखिसु जाते छात्र छात्री हकले ए सुविधा तु लय तेन लोकर होते पुनपोटिया कय जुगाजुग करार बा पुनपोटिया कय कथा पटार हेखिनिके कय मय आको डाक्टर मानवेंद्र शर्मा कि मान सुंदर कय रोखान विज्ञान ता ईमान डांगोर बिखोए कारण अमार होरी टूर पर आम भोकोरी अमार सारी फलोर पृथ्वी खोन अमी प्रत्येक मुहूर्तों ते व्यवहार करा बोस्तु हमोग्री बिलाकोत रोखायन हो माया से गोटी के रोखान विज्ञान और पूरी होटू ईमान ही डांगोर ईमान डांगोर ऐता बिखोए और तोतियो को था बिलाक ईमान ह अमी आखा रखी सु भविष्य ते उठाऊं का मार मज़ौत पाम जाते ते उन अमार सत्र सत्य हकलोक आरु को था को बो पड़े इखिनी के कोई अनुपम मौय अकोट माले अग बढ़ाए दिसु अमार मुंसो प्रश्नों उत्तर हितानों लोई धन्यवाद अच्छा धन्यवाद हिरोनों दा आरु मानो पटी आरु एक प्रश्न आसीले अवश्य हिरोनों दे निजी मतलब साइंटिस्ट हो को ले उनकी तो हमेशा वो पर काम करी है जैसे मतलब उनकी तो बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चंस व्हाट आर द सम ऑफ द बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चंस इन थियोरेटिकल केमिस्ट्री राइट नाउ एंड व्हाट आर द इम्प्लिकेशंस ऑफ दोस प्रॉब्लम्स इन अप्लाइड एरियाज सो मेनली मैंने सेपरेट कोरी हिस्सू मैंने थियोरेटिकल क uh, I mean, it's a key. Uh, there are some group may zone mainly upon a drug design board come Korea says they can take a drug demand effectively, but uh, efficacy to drugs or efficacy to get a borrow for it. Then I go to no come for it. Aru, uh, Aru Zikini Mane theory hobologia. I mean to say, tar related theory heavy like assault already developed by which as equally I mean. Mostly we are using. I mean, when I think even a theory already developed for you say the democracy is a 1926 or quantum mechanics or students are easy to start for you say it was 100 years over. He took a look harder money. Amen. Hoi Pele or Bohut Kibaki Bihu. Yes, it would take a there are many areas like material science or for a talk as it was made or material science by nanotechnology by nano science bully com. Biological science, the two me he called the polymer or the two sustainability at a issue. He said, Hey, he need a black water as you can read in our money will have more, more trending, more demanding environmental. The two my already at a decual the environmental is one of the issues that can be also needs to be solved. So, a black or broad money more application type or research phase or regarding theory. The two my question is the most of the theories are. Already known are many things are amended. That means, idea means, which any theories already developed as. We talk about my, for example, electronic structure theory. We talk about electronic structure theory. We have already developed. It is a 
মেইন কথাটো হল যে কেনেকে এফিসিয়েন্টলি আমি ইউজ করব পড়ো যে আর্লিয়ার মানে ধর অল্প কম্পিউটার রিলেটেড কথা খেয়ে কিন্তু যে আমি আগে কিছু সিকুয়েন্সিয়াল কামবিল করেছিল এই যদি আমি প্যারেল ভার্সন পড়ো থিংস ক্যান বি ফাস্টার সো সেই তেরক ধরনের কামবিল অল্প প্রসেসিং করা হয়েছে যাতে কাম তো মোর এফেক্টিভ হয় ফর এপ্লিকেশন কারণ যে দেখো যে আমার যেহেতু কম্পিউটার এটা মানে একটা স্পেসিফিক মেমোরি আছে আর মূর স্ল মতে আফটার সাম টাইম আমি মানে আমার থ্রেস হোল লিমিট তো পাই যাব ইয়ার পিছন আমি আর বড়াব নয় মেমোরি বা স্পিড তো গতি উইথ দ্যাট কনস মানে কনস্ট্রিং আমি কি দূরলে যাব পড়ো সেই কারণে টুয়ার্ডস দেন মানে যেহেতু আর্টিফিশিয়াল ইন্টেলিজেন্স বা মেশিন লার্নিং কথা কলো দ্যাট মে বি হেল্পফুল বাট এগেইন দি আর ইজ এ কাইন্ড অফ অলসো আই আই ওয়ান্ট টু পুট এ কশন বিকজ a proper or uh, uh, handling of the machine learning is important not uh, means like uh, blindly that may end up giving different result yeah thank you banavendra and related to machine learning we have a question from sukaina gogoi that uh, she is asking sir what is your opinion about the popular fear that artificial intelligence would take over humans do you think it is a justified fear i think yeah, it's very difficult to say but yes it is a justified fear to some extent that's why i said regulated use of artificial intelligence is very important because ultimately when you talk about machine learning they will take the data from sources if source is wrong then we'll get wrong output if source is right we'll get right output and m- machine learning is mostly or artificial intelligence more related to cognitive side so depends on what we actually feel it will give but yes uh, there is a fear there is a fear i think we talk we all know about the chat gpt and then other so yesterday i was using using something and uh, it is given because i was let's say giving my name for the test and it that could not give any answer because they do not have any data and in, unfortunately right. for 15 minutes she called so i just put the website they could not get anything so that is the problem so i just instead of using blindly and i think we need to uh, believe in ourselves of course a regulated use of ai ml or deep learning is very very essential now i just to go to the uh, means uh, or to solve some complicated research problem even you are from mathematics you know that some of the problems are very difficult to solve in traditional way so that can be solved through this kind of things but i there is a fear i feel i also feel that thank you there is another question from zuriti rasbonki uh, from rvl group uw rvl group so her question is for so2 detection through sensors based on graphenes did you look into sensors selectively how the graphene monolayer interacts with other environmental composites yes we so have checked properly see the research sir yeah yeah, yeah yeah i see chad us or research problem so yes we have checked and we saw that's why we found and in our paper in that reference it is written there i can write her back so in that paper we have checked that one that uh, even and as next question what she is asking humidity also that we also we have checked to find out that whether it is really suitable or not but again that we, this is our computational modeling so it's up to the researcher whether they can be it is really doable in computational laboratory or not but yes we have checked all these things Oh, quickly, Zuriti might uh, want to say something herself. I'm going to unmute you, this is Zuriti, to me. Hi, hi, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, hello, sir. I was working on the gas absorption of the gas absorption. So, I am working on uh, liquid crystal based sensor for the detection of SO2. Right. Yeah, so... Uh, এখন এটো কামত মানে আপনি ডিএফটি এন্ড এআইএমডি ইউজ কৰিছে নহয় জানো কারেক্ট 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 হয় হয় সো যেতে হিউমিডিটি ইন্টারেকশন পাইছে মানে ইউ কনসিডারড এবাউট দা হিউমিডিটি এজ ওয়েল এজ এন ইন্টারেকশন ফর উইথ দা আদার এনভায়রনমেন্টাল কম্পোজিটস কারেক্ট 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 সো উই হ্যাভ ইউজ এইচ2ও 
which okay. is called H2O, N2O, and two O C O and other atmospheric gases. And we found that yeah. SO two has more uh, prominent selectivity than other gases. Okay. Okay, I understood, sir. Okay. okay. Anavendra, my mother, take what I heard. Poisu, Juriti, I saw them all coral source wali. A University of Wisconsin Medicine of a postdoc Korea chemistry, more chemistry, Buzinepunk into the Margot Zugazuk Rahibos again, Juri. Sure, sure, sure. Welcome. What I do, quite hollow. Get up as I get talks of the Bopari boy at it. Sure, sure, sure. So, when I'm ugly, he'll all. Mazal look by Silabunagawa, the Demas Tamar was a crazy summon of a monologue into the Tabut Hulu Silabai. I read a more silly book. Nice, sir. Thank you. Our mother went to our Takama Hudibaku Silu, the Etia Bottoma, Jihokol, Satosatri, Etia, Dora, undergraduate project as Samar College. Telco Carne to make by special advice divanikis, and the quad horn a post college subject to Halo by the Quanuka Kitap Telka Puria Hal, the Nikaki Bakobologas and Nikitumar. Asolote Moe Habus, but a Monizor experience over my two Habuze Kunu separate Kitap or Dorkar Nai, Zikini Kitap recommend Korahoi, Amar higher secondary by degree level or Kinizodi, Ami Mane Kitap Kinizodi, Dom Horosi Maripur, detail or Puru. Concept to Buzargar and Sesta or Denahole, Punu problem. I mean, as of the basis to Amar Hall, main chemistry, whether it is a experimental or theory, a rules, a physical hop, uh, organic hop, inorganic hop, any areas or Kitab, Zikunu Kitab Kini, Halke, Pohile, Halha. Our second quarter to hold the money to more observation, Nazanomoy Bull Hobo Paru, the uh, Azikali. The book had taught student of Halo Prada has a Kitab Homke Bori main web portal will have a basic guru to Diahoi. Again, my two voices are not a problem, kin to main Jikini standard Kitab Mane Palhal author. Hey, Kini Kitab Kini Pohile Palatitia at an interest a hero. I mean to say, the etamoizuri calls a theoretical chemistry report. So, Tarover no doubt Bohut Hal Kitab available as a Azir Dinot. He can get up in his report has a Tarubur Zuri Zune Nika college level or hop, but theoretical, and I mean to say, university level of the hop. Teacher or proto at a depend college, I mean, can I get money? Koribo was good catro, I mean, he was to do sake Arana Sil, Naipara, I garner sake, all of one subject to Iman popular no hoi into. Etia mane bohut demanding zito jo koi suje yar application bohut hoyse karne ami lob more demanding bolli kabo paru. Kintu moi bhavuze main kitab kini pori lei mane sufficient. Mane I don't think mane any extra required. Karon ultimately chemistry use hoy. Mane just at aro at add kori bhavu suje moi tu bisar suje zun zune calculation korai tu very important de. We should get the correct result for the correct reasons, not correct result for the wrong reasons. Because chemistry, what is chemistry? I will give you. But because theoretical method, we have to look at the root problem. Why is it that this is a method? I mean, arbitrary result, give up. But because one is to verify. So it is that you have to get some theory, some theory, some theory, some theory, some theory. Sir, more than that, the question was related to computational. That is, I mean, chemistry will be done. Did you like it? Basic laboratory experiment or provision? Hoy, ne, I mean, cable data to loye. Or a bell, bell, bell. Computationally, which one derive? Could be done. Okay, so I mean, this to derivation part to I mean theory part or two. So, I mean, I mean, give out a research problem. I mean, I mean, more example. I mean, 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 Calculate Kori. Taragote moi, that derived Kurilom, the Kennecke calculation Kori Bopari. Tarzo Hetuk moi, Dutaway Sabo, either I can program it, Hetu Toro computational disabusisabo, Nohole, Baki under other Zikini standard software as a his software, he resolved black Kennequadia, then I can compare. What had to hold the computational chemistry, I mean calculation Kori Bolaibo, computation Kori Bolaibo, Tarviso. Analysis part to second. First calculation, Goribola, he was a moi, 
Itu system or energy to kiman. For example, I say energy to uliyabo I say. So energy to uliyabo I need to calculate, compute. Tar bisot mai verify kori bolay bos whether the to experiment or logo thike thake asen na. Tar bisot mane bos to ami mane compare kori hai kobo pari. Mane another question is there. Side by side thagi bolagi bo. Okay, thank you. And so another question from fifteen minutes. He cries that. Any specific career options in theoretical chemistry as compared to other branches of chemistry, for instance? Okay, so very simple. Very many more teaching line of the teaching line of the idea of demand. Why ultimately every department or country, Zikuno department, Zikuno Institute, IIT is hook, NIT is hook, IISCR hook, NISAR hook, NIPAR hook, any institute or Abunar Abunar at a computational chemist ba tenubar or theoretical chemist to Dorkar by Karon. As a Kali data villa, this one data experimentally uh, analysis korat ba interpret korat digdar. Go to get it to get to as a Kali Institute villa get they recruit it to teaching one. Second quarter to hold pharma industry ba drug demand and drug. This one is a drug designing industry. Molecular modeling to pass at a prerequisite is available. Current they had to both uh, uh, funding or what depend correct. But the Tenukara industry first they study through molecular modeling. They do have a to best medicine but best compound, then they can go for uh, synthesis. So you have to materials industry of opera, it to drug designing industry of opera. there are a lot of options. More yet talk to both Digolia is a part to look at my man Zuana Kindu Mohanode, Zitia school will have interact Kuru, Titia Hornor, Apunar Gompause Akiki Kuribo part, Titia Bostu Batakiniko. So teaching to teaching or option to us, research or option to us, plus some multinational multinational companies will have to come for our Manakubita to Puaza. Okay, thank you, Manavendra. And another question is like, what are the institutions that students should try for in higher studies uh, in theoretical chemistry? Uh, I suppose all the IITs are there, but uh, is there any are there any specific uh, universities or yes, departments? Yes, yes, uh, in, in India or in abroad also? India. In, in India. India to start with. Okay, so so IITs all IITs are now they are having. Good number of theory theory people or computational people. Similarly, IISC Bangalore as a Kubhal Institute, India. Star Bisot TIFR, TIFR or Mumbai called Kubhal. Tarlagote TIFR Hyderabad as a Tarlisot Kolkata. I think Zuriti Tate PhD Kora SINP as a SN Bose as a IACS as a Tenegat Hernor Aru Isar Bilag as a Etia Nizar Bilagotu Hose. More than a good colleague, Nizar Bilagotu, as a good decay, Naipar Bilagotu, as a major push is a pharmaceutical research or port Korahoi, a two to who does a good decay, even an institute of Manepal Maneta opportunity was a depending on Tihor port Korigo, a Kisumanator of different area, area specific besides a moi material or port Korig, but moi Horu system or port Korig, but moi Kisuman. Drug or report, drug designing or report, but more of the atmospheric chemistry report. Atmospheric chemistry again a very evolving topic. My name Amar report might have just recently start Kori so to start Korabisha Gompoise, but my competitionally Kiman, Bostu Koribo Paria Solote. I would even explore Korana Silo. But there are many ways, many institutes, my India are even central university will have a logical specialty for the theoretical chemistry or computational chemistry will come for a high noise. Even do 
জানো যে লাইক সেন্ট্রেল ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ হায়দ্রাবাদ হোক আমার ওর তেজপুর ইউনিভার্সিটি হোক তে ধরনের জায়গা ভাল ভাল করে মানে অপশনস আর মোর নাও Thank you, Manendra. So I think we don't have any more questions. So but still, I would uh, now request uh, Rifada maybe to say words. Oh, no, thank you. Hiranada, please uh, conclude. Unar bar, Pundhura Minit Hikkhar Torofor Pura, Dr. Manabendra Harmak, Okhek Dhundabad Donaisu, Tewa Amak Humoi Diyar Karne, Amar Hikkhar Tiyo Kolok. সময় দিয়ার কারণে আগতে কোয়ার দরে কেমেস্ট্রি বা রসায়ন বিজ্ঞান ইমান একটা ডর বিষয় এই বিষয়টির উপর কথা কে থাকলে সাকে বহুদিন লেকচার দিব আমি যখন একু একটা বিষয়ত অধ্যয়ন করো বা গবেষণা করো সেই এই বিষয়বিল কবল বহুত থাকে আশা করছো যে আজির যে বক্তৃতা আজির যে প্রশ্নোত্তর সেইখিনির আমার শিক্ষার্থী সকল উপকৃত হব ইয়ার জুম প্লেটফর্ম আর ফেসবুক আর ইউটিউবত উপস্থিত থাকা আমার অংশগ্রহণকারী সকলকও আমার তরফের ধন্যবাদ জানাইছো আমাক পনেরো মিনিট শিক্ষাক উৎসাহিত করে থাকিব বলে আশা করছো আর ইয়াকে কই আকো পুনর্বার কো যে আমার পরবর্তী অনুষ্ঠান জুনের পঁচিশ তারিখে আর জুনের পঁচিশ তারিখে আমার অনুষ্ঠান উপস্থিত থাকি এইবার কেন্দ্রীয় লোকসেবা আয়োগের পরীক্ষাত উত্তীর্ণ হয়ে সুনাম কড়িয়ায় অনা ডক্টর ময়ূর হাজরিকা আর নিবেদিতা দাস আশা করছো আমার শিক্ষার্থী সকলে সেই অনুষ্ঠানট যোগ দি আমাকে উৎসাহিত করব আর জানবলগিয়াখিন জানি লব ইয়াকে কামনা করে আজির অনুষ্ঠানটা সামরিছো ধন্যবাদ Thank you.